After World War I, America entered a great period of economic growth. And while many Americans celebrated their new idea of material prosperity, there was a group of artisans who rejected the importance on material wealth. Many of these writers and artists found the United States' involvement in World War I to be a mistake and were concerned with the American people's growing preoccupation with monetary success. These artists and writers made works about traditional American values, mostly concerning life in American villages, much to the chagrin of business leaders. But no matter how many leaders of major organizations fought back, young people were in majority supportive of the artists who they believed were merely showing the truth. These young men and women would grow up to be post-World War II era abstract expressionists, concerned with substance and meaning within their art. Similar to their 1920s predecessors, the abstract expressionists were innovative and revolutionary because they went against the established process, instead creating their own art in their own way. Abstract Expressionism came about due to the Great Depression. During the Great Depression, many Americans were left without work, and some turned to art as a way to reflect on their current situation. This art of the New Deal was defined by its focus on regionalism and social realism, a focus on the Midwest and the working class respectively. Many abstract expressionists were beginning during this time, and were displeased with the lack of meaning in the New Deal artists' work. These abstract expressionists used Great Depression programs, specifically the Works Progress Administration, to mark out their own career paths. A majority of these abstract expressionists were settled down in New York's Greenwich Village, but despite the abundance of artistic creativity, the expressionists were struggling to find their own style. This problem was resolved by World War II, where many artists in Europe, European modernists, moved to the east coast of the United States to escape from the growing European conflict, particularly to populous states like New York. This is where the abstract expressionists found their major inspiration. European modernism was rooted largely in anti-establishment values, something that the abstract expressionists were big proponents of. These shared ideals led to a shared style of art based mainly in the elements of biomorphism, a basis in the patterns and element of nature, and pictography, a representation of a word or phrase through an image. The mixing of European style and belief with American influences led to an abundance of new painters and new styles, the most famous of which being Jackson Pollock, who developed a specific style called action painting, in which paint is thrown, splashed, and poured onto a canvas. While most would describe this style as random, Pollock worked meticulously and with great care to try and make his work exactly the way that he wanted it to be. Action painting is representative of the revolutionary nature of the movement. Other artists, Mark Rothko and Barnett Newman, used a technique called color field painting, a style marked by large, unchanged swaths of color across most of the canvas. These colored field paintings are largely representative of monumental concerns of the time, mainly the place of spirituality in modern culture. Another artist, Willem de Kooning, worked with a technique called aggressive painting, which often resulted in intense images and symbols. Additionally, almost every artist in the abstract expressionism movement used immense canvases to convey a sense of human insignificance. These murals were often the size of full walls. These were polarizing. And while many members of the public received the murals well, some critics were very negative towards the movement. One reviewer, Lincoln Kirstein, was incredibly critical of the movement as a whole. What painting lacks today is what bad painting always lacks. Adequate intellectual capacity and manual skill. Kirstein, among many negative critics, was frustrated with the repetitive nature of the shapes and colors utilized within the movement. He posed that this was the case because abstract expressionists were too self-absorbed to develop and grow as artists to create new ideas, so they simply remade their old ideas into new paintings over and over, essentially beating a dead horse. Kirstein also argued that increased public access to the paintings was problematic because the common person loves an easily recognizable style, and they aren't well versed at identifying a truly successful painting. He also makes the point that this dumbs down the work of the artist to meet the demands of the so-called ignorant masses. Just because there were a few negative critics doesn't mean that the artists weren't beloved. There was a new term that came about in this era of abstract expressionism, patron critics. Patron critics essentially focused in on one artist or painting style and sang their praises to the rest of the general public. Clement Greenberg, an essayist, supported Jackson Pollock wholeheartedly, saying that he was the greatest painter of his generation. 
He also supported the colored field painters. Harold Rosenberg, an American educator, greatly supported all of the action painters. In fact, Rosenberg coined the term action painting in 1952. Thomas B. Hess had no specific movement, instead supporting the action painter Willem de Kooning, and to a lesser extent his wife Elaine de Kooning. Generally, the public found the abstract expressionist paintings interesting and easily accessed. The abstract expressionists were important because of the ripples that they made across the world. In the time before World War II, the main center for art in the world was Paris, but because of the abstract expressionists, the new world art center was New York City. This brought money to the United States from tourists and from artists looking to move to New York. Abstract Expressionism also gave a deeper meaning to the creation of art. Abstract Expressionists made the process of painting an existential endeavor in order to understand the desire at the core of humanity to express oneself. The artistic styles of the Abstract Expressionists also influenced future art movements. For example, tachism, lyrical abstraction, fluxus, pop art, minimalism, post-minimalism, and neo-expressionism.